I'm Shar and welcome to Twist and Shout. Today is going to be a very short and simple and sweet message. For future content from me, please like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. All right, so this message is for all the weed or marijuana smokers out there. I know there's tons of you and I come not to judge you. I'm no judge because, hello, once I smoked myself. So I'm not here to judge, condemn you, ridicule you, make fun of you, any of those things that you thought you might see in this video for me. That is not my ordeal. However, what I do come to say is, I know how it feels to depend or use something to cope with pain, stress, heartbreaks, heartaches, um, losses, anything, anything that a person can feel sadness overwhelming um sleepy uh hungry whatever type of problem issue that you may have that you actually use weed or marijuana to cope with those issues i stand before you to say this at one point weed was once my go-to it was my god and let me just be clear that any and everything that you put before god himself you have made that your God, and that's not okay. And I too did it at once upon a time. It, it became a point where I'm like, okay, my day is going bad, and the only way that it can go better is if I actually go get some weed. And the devil is clever, and he is sl slick as I don't know what, because not only did I not have to necessarily go out and search and find the weed or pay for the weed, I tend to... Um, gravitate towards those male or boyfriends that either was drug dealers or hey they didn't mind giving it to me or whatever the case may be which I'm not saying this to make it seem like they're bad or they're horrible because they only do they only did what they thought was in their best interest for me but today I stand before you say okay I obviously don't smoke weed now it's been years have not touched it but in one of the most lowest points that I had or experienced emotionally wise, my mind literally revert back to, oh, you remember how you felt when you smoked this or how you actually end up feeling better afterwards or how this made you feel, da 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 da, -da. You know the story. Because that's what people do now. They say, hey, my day is horrible, my life is horrible, and weed gets me by, weed makes me focus, weed helps me to continue in life. But I come to before you today to say, there is something far greater than any weed, any blunt, any smoking can ever do for you. And I thought when God gave me this, what better person to deliver this? Because it's one thing for somebody who never smoked before to say, hey, that's stupid. That's dumb. You shouldn't do that. There's better ways. There's alternatives. So guess what? What all people always say is, you don't know because you haven't been in my shoes. I'm saying, I've been there. I've done that. And at the time, I thought, okay, this actually made me feel better. This actually helped me to get through life. This actually helped me to move forward from the situation or the matter that was bothering me. But I'm saying now that now that God actually put me in a position where obviously I, my mind wasn't set on weed, but Satan did actually allow that thought to creep up in my mind to say, you know what, if you go do this right quick, this may not seem so bad. However... Like I said, there is something extremely more potent and powerful and satisfying than marijuana or weed could ever be in this entire life or existence. And before I get into that, I would like to read a scripture to you guys um, out of the ESV Bible. And it comes from John 14. That's John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace. I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give to you let not your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid now long story short this is when Jesus had came or he appeared to his disciples after he had died and rose off the cross mind you at this point in time I'm pretty sure they were scared they was nervous. They took a big L. They they lost their God, their Savior. Jesus to them was, oh my God, he's gone. He's actually gone. He told us he was leaving, but it's now surreal because we haven't seen a body. 
you know, they was in their feelings. And I'm pretty sure most, if not any of us, have experienced, like I said, losses, death in the family, heartaches, heartbreaks, um, financial problems, trials, tribulations, things that kind of make us like, oh my God, I can't do this by myself. What am I going to do? And I'm telling you, Jesus, this peace he was speaking of was directly in relation to the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit can be your peace, your joy, the knowledge and the understanding that you need, your guidance, your helper, your counselor. Mind you, because when Jesus was there, he was all these things to them because he was presently there. So if anybody had any issues and concern, hello, they could just, hey, Jesus, can I talk to you for a second? And he answered them through Jesus, through the word, through God. Now, mind you, he's gone and he told him, he said, hey, when I do leave, I don't leave you empty handed. I don't leave you with your head low and worrying why or when, how. I'm telling you, I'm leaving you a help or a comforter in the midst of my absence, which would be the Holy Spirit. And I hear you, okay, oh, that can't do what we do for me. I'm telling you, I'm telling you from experience that that is all you need in pain and hurt and sickness and losses, lack of joy, lack of peace, lack of sleep, lack of rest in your soul. The Holy Spirit is all you need. How do you go about the Holy Spirit? According to scripture, when you confess to be born again and saved and believe of the Lord saved with Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is then planted within you. How do you keep this Holy Spirit? And how does it keep going for you? You have to continue in the word of God and strengthen your inner being with prayer, fasting, and reading that Bible, as I stated before. And like I said, I am a witness that I was at the point where I'm like, yo, this weed is the only way I can feel better. And in that moment, it did. But I'm telling you, if you want something for a lifetime, if you want something that's beyond five minutes or 10 minutes, because trust me, I, I knew there was such thing as good weed and bad weed, the weed that made you high for two seconds, the weed that you've been high for half of the day, and you know, the quick fix, you know, you $5 every day, $5 every day. But I'm telling you, this will save you money, time, and effort. Turn to Christ today. Pray to him and tell and ask him. Jesus also said, ask in my name and I shall present that to you as long as it's in the will of God. Come to him and say, Lord, I need peace. Lord, I'm feeling unloved. I'm feeling unwanted. I'm feeling tired, upset, irritated, mad, angry, upset. Because I know that's the one thing that people say, that we calm them down and we make them peaceful. I'm telling you, there's something so much better, and it's called the Holy Spirit. Please take a moment to search your hearts and search your minds and say, you know what? I clicked on this for a reason. Please, Lord, deliver me from anything or anybody that I'm holding on to that I have made my God. Because like I said, beyond we, people have made people, devices, electronics, their phone, TVs, uh, their job, their cars, all these things have been replaced or in the your life you have replaced God and I'm telling you nothing or nobody can replace the joy and the peace and the love that he has to offer to you so that's all I have to say please take what I say into consideration like I said if anybody can tell you better it's me because I've been there and done that and I'm telling you the peace and the joy that I have in my heart now nothing no alcohol no drugs no weed no person no sex None of that. No food. Because people can idolize food too. And make food their God. And like I said, idolizing is just anything you put before God. Anything that you raise higher above if you stress. Oh, I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to get something sweet. Oh, I'm tired. I'm irritated. I'm aggravated. Let me go watch porn. Like anything, anything that you put in place instead of running to God is idolizing. Thank you so much for your time. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And God bless. Take care.